definitely better than plastic. Now let's get into the chemical background of paper bags. Fact number one, the main molecule in paper bags is cellulose. Because of the equatorial positions of the hydroxyls on the cellulose chain, they protrude laterally along the extended molecule. This positioning makes them readily available for hydrogen bonding. Cellulose reacts well with both bases and acids. Here's a picture of cellulose. Cellulose can be broken down by fungi and bacteria in a natural environment. It is known as a natural resource that is also considered renewable. It is also the definition of a circle of life. By this, I mean that trees are cut down for wood pulp. This wood pulp goes to the paper mill. From the paper mill, the world is given different types of paper, such as paper bags. After this, the paper mills have contracts to replenish the forest. Then the circle starts all over again. Also, other plants can break down cellulose. No worries. Fact number two, paper bags are made from wood pulp. Wood pulp is a naturally occurring resource that is renewable. Here is what wood pulp looks like. Unlike paper bags, plastic bags are made from refined oil, which is a non-renewable source. Paper in general provides numerous jobs to different families around the world. Some examples of jobs include logging industries, paper mill companies, and paper sales. These individuals transport wood pulp and paper. Others cut the wood, and there are also the individuals that convert the wood pulp to paper. For example, some logging families need this job to support their own families. It is a main source of income in certain states, such as Maine. If they were to lose their jobs, it could truly affect the local economy and may eventually have some impact on the economy of the United States. Fact number four, paper bags decompose more easily than plastic bags. According to several of this doesn't make sense. Fact number five, uh, recycling paper products is more recognized and practiced by the everyday person. Everyone recognizes the recyclable symbol on trucks and bins. Many people automatically think paper, not plastic. According to several websites, paper bags produced today are made of at least 35% recycled paper. While you are producing them, they help reduce greenhouse gases in the atmosphere because they require less energy to produce than plastic bags. I hope you realize the right choice. Choose paper over plastic. Thank you for listening, and now time to recycle. Oh look, a recycling symbol.